Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, back in the chair again. We're on the ZX Spectrum and we're looking at homebrews because at time of recording it's a Wednesday. This one's called UFO and it's published by FJ Urban Asia in 2020. It's for the 48K. Now, it's a platform game of sorts with a little element of, well, jetpack in there, I suppose. But you must collect keys on different screens to go through different white doors. At the end of the day, escape the alien base, take off in a rocket and then kill all the aliens, which happens automatically. I think. So um, I haven't got any pokes for this game so just as far as I can get and then that's that. So I'm this yellow guy here. You see the rocket there on the top left uh, when we complete the game which I probably won't do we then get in there and take off and um, escape. So here we go. So we're trying to learn the tactics as we go along. Now you see uh, the word prop on the right. Whenever we do um, up on the jetpack, it uses fuel, but it does regenerate. Time starts ticking. Oops, I've died. Time starts ticking down at some point. You'll see our lives in the top right there, saying four, and we can pick up some ammo at some stage for shooting stuff. Right, there's the first key up the top there. So it's a bit of inertia on the uh, the boosts. Whoops, well done. I got round there. There's the ammo. So you see that zipped to 70. You have to be a bit sparing with those because they will run out. So as homebrews go, this is moving quite well so far. I don't think this was made with any um, special utility. I think this is actually um, a complete homebrew, so no constructions or designers. So well done, FJ Urban Asia. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we're going through one door. I think we've got the timing on this. We can use the gun to shoot these yellow eyeball space helmet type things. Let's drop down there. Now I'm getting a warm buzz on this already, so it looks like it's another super cool homebrew. Hooray! The homebrew scene is very, very active at the moment. I love it. Can I complete the game? Well, I do not know. Now this was um, designed by the same person that did the game Papyrus, which we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen it already, have a look at that one, because that is another good one. It was, uh, it's different from this game in its own, its own right. This is a bit more floaty. Right, I think we know what to do here, don't we? There's this lightning going up and down. We need to get in that cubby hole. There we go. And then zip down there. So I'm doing a quite a good distance for a noob. Uh, we need to do a jetpack over that bit. Good. So I'm sure that timer will start ticking down at some point. You can see the key we need to get to. So it's all about the timing and shooting this thing here. What does C do, I wonder? I think that's something we can pick up, is it? Oh, it's a charge. What does the charge do? I do not know. There's no instructions that come with this game. Probably use a charge to do something quite clever. Right, that's that gone. So there's the key. The door opens automatically. We don't have to put it in the lock or anything. And then that's another screen successfully navigated. Hurrah! It's going to get really difficult soon. Here it is, right. Um, into the cubby hole again, I think. Oops, no. Sometimes you lose your, you lose your strategy. But good job the boosts regenerate there. Need a timing with that thing across the top. It's quite clever, this game. Quite clever. Should we go in the next cubby hole or go all the way up? I think we could probably go all the way up, couldn't we? We might go in that cubby hole. Hmm. There's a time in here somewhere. It looks like there's a VIP heart. Should we get that or not? I do not know. Right, into here. Right, this should be quite easy now. We'll just get up there. Right, shoot, shoot, shoot. We've already depleted quite a lot of ammo. We went from 70 down to 31. Now, if you want to track this one down, I downloaded it from... Where did I download it from? Uh, Spectrum Computing, their site. UFO. There's a few other games called UFO um, in retro history, but this is the most modern one. Unidentified flying object. Uh oh. Oh no. Unidentified flying object. Now, so no death spirals on this one. If you die, you uh, return to a preset point on the screen. So you're not going to lose all your all your lives in one go. Yeah. Perhaps when the ammo goes to zero, you can use one of those recharges. Perhaps, but we've only got 12 bullets left now. And we're going to need that to get past that, that well, I don't know what that thing is down the bottom, an, an ice cream or something. In. Yeah. Can we get that heart? Oh, we don't need to bother, do we? Just go go straight across. Hooray! Oh, uh, now this looks tricky. There's a key. Oops, there's a key in the top middle. We've only got two lives left. More bullets. That's useful. C for another charge. Need to get that key. Don't bump into all that other stuff. Right, blop. The, uh, the doors open. It's quite addictive, this. Another great game from FJ Urban Asia. So Papyrus and this. I don't think they've done any more at the moment at time of recording. I'm quite looking forward to seeing any other ones. As I use all my bullets in not a very um, carefree way. All oh, the jet boost is almost out. What's well, good. And another boost, another charge pack down there. Okay. 
I don't know how many screens this game has got, but it's fairly easy to know what to do. Just collect keys and open doors and at the end escape in the rocket. If you've completed this, let me know what happens at the end. I presume the rocket just takes off and it says some like aliens dead or you completed the level or something. But I don't know what these aliens have done to us to warrant this. Let's get the, uh, the pro pro actually propulsion that stands for. Let's get the prop up to 200, which we've done. There's a gap there. We need to go over there. Uh, you, there's probably a time where you don't need to shoot anything. Look, I've got no ammo left now. That's going to bite me in the bottom, isn't it? No ammo left. Can't go back the way you came. The doors do reseal themselves. Curses. Right, that should be easy to go through there, but no bullets left, as I see. Unless we can find some through here. Come on, yellow spaceman. Spaceman. Ah, more bullets. That's good. Right, 25. Not a great deal. That's a nice little level, isn't it? Uh, red planet, white moon. Another charge. Oh, man, if you know how to use these charges, let me know. And I think if we hit any of the blueness here, with a bit of inertia, this is going to be tricky. If hit any of the, yeah, if hit any of the blue, we're dead. We've only got one life left. Oh, man, I'd love to play this game with infinite lives on. This is great fun. Oh, did we die then? Curses. Game over. Well, this stuff certainly works at uh, warrants another go. I got quite far into that game, I think. Good homebrew from 2020. You can redefine the keys you want. Do keyboard. But uh, let's just power on then. Try and keep as many lives as we can. I don't, I don't know if we've got any extra lives as we go forward. But yeah, of course, if you know about that, that thing with the charges, let me know. What should I be doing with those? Because I do not know. Should be out of steam through now, I know that. Get past here, wait for him to come down. Away we go. Good use of colour. It's quite basic in colour. It doesn't do mixed colours anywhere. It's just solid colour everywhere. It doesn't do mixed colour like some of the uh, homebrews showing off. So it's basic in that regard. But it's all about playability, really. And the, is the playability there? Yes. Uh, I don't know what to compare this game to. I do like the hover bit of the game as well. That's good. And the effectiveness of the, the boost running out so you can't stay in the sky the whole time. And it does recharge, which is quite useful. Right, round this thing. There we go. Oh, it's that a bit tight. Yeah, got away with that. Key there, through the door. So that's causing no bother, bother at all. So this stage looks a little bit more difficult than it really is. It's just dropping down and shooting these yellow balls. They don't fire back at you. The red stuff probably kills you, so best avoid that. So again, um, I say it's well worth tracking down. Eventually I will come out across a bad homebrew. I'm sure it will happen. But I, tr I try and pick out the, the ones that look good from the screenshots. I haven't been conned as of yet. A lot of good quality out there. And this is another one. UFO. UFO. If you've seen a UFO, comment below. Was it by an airport? They normally are. But if you've seen a real one, then comment below. I won't say if you've been abducted by aliens, because then that's just going to attract weirdness in the comment section. Oh, hell. Hell's to Betsy. Let's just say it. If you've been abducted by aliens and they've taken you to your home planet or done experiments on you, comment in the comment section below. What happened? Were they quite benign? They just want to know the recipe for Rice Krispies. I don't know. Um, then let me know. Right. Another key. We're through the door. Uh, this spaceman doesn't look like anyone I know. Don't I know? The space helmet looks a little bit like that one that um, Ellen Ripley wore in Aliens 2. Citation needed. I think it's all it does, doesn't it? But well, I don't think this is Ellen Ripley. Right, okay. So no colour clash on here at all, I don't think. Was he white before? It might be a bit of colour clash. He might have been white. Started off white. No, he's always been yellow, isn't he? They call him mellow yellow. Boo -boo -da -boo -boo. They call him mellow yellow in space. Now, the whole idea of this channel is to have a bit of fun. And um, trying to ease a bit of stress. It's not all about expert gameplay. So if you're watching this, haven't subscribed, and you want to see more of these videos or get alerted to when they go up, then please consider subscribing. Or there's the Twitter channel as well, um, Jenkins Seven Nick, which I post the links there when they go live. Also, like hearing from you. It's all about conversation, really. Um, no one person's opinion is better than another. You might completely disagree with me or something like that. Um, quite often, there's a bit of nostalgia with games. These new ones haven't got nostalgia as such, but we can still have opinion about the games, and I think this is jolly good. Jolly good for 48k. Uh, I don't think there's a 128k version. I might be wrong. I suspect uh, that might have a bit of music if it did ever see the light of day, but it's good to see in 48k. Uh, the 48k Spectrum, the rubber keyboard, is the sort of one I grew up with, so I like sh I like really playing games that could have worked on that. Get a bit of a buzz. I mean, if I had this one back in the day, I would have played it lots, because um, these homebrews, the quality of them, seemed to knock the socks off quite a lot of games back in the day. But the Spectrum wasn't always about super gaming. 
well, super graphics and sound and stuff, although some did have it, arguably for the era. It was all about the playability there. If the playability was there uh, and a kid's imagination can catch fire, then it was good. And um, these reviews, again, there was pretty much, was there enough there if you want to go back uh, enticed to play it again? But no bullets, that's a problem. And um, this would have had it loads. I don't know, I don't think, I think, this, yeah, let's start that sentence again. This isn't possible to do without any bullets, is it? There's no timing that get me past that ball there with no bullets. I think we might just have to run into that thing three times in a row. I wasn't paying attention, unless there's a secret way I don't know of. So that's a little bit of a flaw. Oh, for a poke for infinite ammo. So we just have to run into this thing and have one last hurrah. Shall we have one last hurrah? It's probably long enough, isn't it, really? For a review, we might have one last go. Because it, it warrants it, it's good. Uh, the, the game we reviewed last week was Jumping Jupiter. That was a good one. As well. Oh no, it wasn't. Ju that was two weeks ago, I think. Jumping Jupiter. Uh, last week was uh, Redshift. That was it. A nice shooter. Right. That's it. Game over. So these aliens, we don't know what they've done, but they're evil again. Let's have one last go for luck. Try and be a little bit conservative with the bullets. Um, and see if we can complete the game. You can't complete the game. Well, I pretend that I am going to complete the game, right? Let's not do any mess-ups. Two bits of lightning. We're past them. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Over that. This one shouldn't cause any problem if you've got the patience. And we're past him as well. Right, now, another bit of lightning. We need to go up first of all. And this is when we pick our first bit of bullets. Or can we just go past? Yeah, it's definitely up and across, isn't it, this? Oh no. See? I shouldn't have lost a life there. Keep your finger on the fire button. If your finger slips off the fire button, you're going to start dropping like a stone. So I've already lost one cheap life here. We've got 70 bits of ammo. Right, wait till this gets to its lowest it can. Then cut around it and go around. Oh, it's, oh, oh dear. That was, that was a bit too close for comfort as well. Now the three yellow balls, as we'll start calling them. I think four shots will kill it. Two, three, four. Right, four. Try and use as few as you possibly can. Four. Count them. One, two, three. Oh, oh dear. I let off about two more than I should have done there. Sixty-one. One, two, three, four. And another one for luck. Right, fifty-six. The thing is, if you lose a life and you have to start all over again, it doesn't regenerate your bullets. So that, that's a bit of a, a, a kick in the bottom, that one. But it just makes it a, a little bit more tricky. And you just know that you've got to complete it really on your first couple of lives or else it's going to be super tough. Good level design on this one. Gradually getting more difficult as you go through. Get the white keys. You probably get away with not actually shooting that thing. That might be the key to completing the game. But this one you do have to shoot. It's darn in the way. Thank you for the key. Thank you for the keys. The doors you're opening. Da 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 da. I couldn't think of a rhyme for opening for some reason. Really set myself up. Right, well, it's a speed run now. Into the second cubby hole as we go through. Let's try and get a bit more distance. That'll probably do, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Buff, 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 buff. Eat lead, yellow bull thing. If you are a yellow ball thing, comment in the comment section below. Are you misrepresented by the press? Are you just an innocent alien that uh, wants nothing to do with this? I mean, I, I find it very unlikely that some whole alien species is always 100% evil or 100% good. There's probably a load of Daleks that are quite nice, uh, but uh, they stay at home and don't get out much. The nice Daleks. Right, shall I try and get this heart this time? That might be something really clever. It says VP. That might be like a very important person. Oh! Come on, we, I think this is doable. Now, what did that give us? I don't mean that gave us anything. Did it? I think it gave us an extra life. There we go. Our lives went up to five. So that was an extra life. When you, whenever you see a heart, it's an extra life. Which I just immediately lose by hitting the red stuff. Oh, Nick. Two cheap lives gone. Just get the key first and time it properly. So that heart was extra lives, which you certainly need to look out for. In this UFO world, we're living in a UFO world, and I am a UFO girl. Du, 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 du. Press my these hot pants. That are up. That are up the subscribers. And then I'll get a, I'll get a channel on OnlyFans or something like that, and sell pictures for six grand a day. Good. I don't think um I don't think people buy my pictures for six grand a day at the moment. I could try it. OnlyFans pictures of Nick wearing hot pants. Six grand. Mind you, though, there's a, there's a market for everything nowadays, isn't there? Maybe I should give it a go. 
Couldn't you imagine? Could you, could you imagine if that happened? Oh man, that'd be just too too darn scary. Right. Anyway, let's just concentrate on this jetpack man now in yellow. I don't know who's related to the guy out of the original jetpack. Through we go. Ooh, almost run out of boost again. There's a charge down there. Are you being charged? Bam. Over that thing. Don't hit the red. Uh, now we know where it's go, go, don't we, this time. We need to go through. We can use these purple magenta things as a resting space. But we need to get the timing and go right through to the other side. Take it through to the other side. Do get on to to the other side. Hey, you, Farmer McGrew, get on to to the other side. Um, yeah, I don't know where I come from these songs. I know I don't know who that's by. It's a song anyway. At least, at least I didn't make it up this time. Break on to to the other side through here. Bam. Right, so it's getting quite close to where we were before. Bullets for us, good. Bullets for us, save all your bullets for us. Um, Brotherhood of Man, duh, 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 duh. Oh, Manfred Man, no. Jason Mansford, he sung that, no. Some one of the something like that. Right, avoid the blue. That's all we need to know. Avoid the blue. Stay in the middle. The inertia is getting. Oh, when I hit my head against the ceiling, I'm dead again. Well, that's pretty much where we got last time. Again, I really like this game. It's got all the elements are there. Good level design. It's got addiction. I like the inertia of the character. And it's got a real nice feel to it. So again, super thumbs up to this one. Really nice. So hope you liked having a look at that. That was UFO, a homebrew on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by FJ Urban Asia in 2020. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything uh, retro or uh, modern, and then put that below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.